Hi everyone and welcome to this video from Excel Tips. In this channel, we discuss about Excel tips that gets your work done accurately and efficiently. In this video, we will see how we can count duplicate values from a list in Excel. We will look at counting duplicates that are in the same column. There are several ways to count duplicate values. I will show you one of the easiest and most efficient ways to count the duplicate. Let us now look at the problem at hand. As you can see here, we have a list of gaming platforms and we have some of the values which are repeating. What we have to do is we have to get a unique list of platforms and the number of times they appear in the list. For example, we want to find out how many times PS3 appears here. This problem will have a two step solution. First step is to find out the number of unique platforms, and the second step would be to get the duplicate count for each of these platforms. So, in order to solve the first step, we will select this entire column that we have here. And I will create a copy of it here. The reason why I'm creating a copy here and not working off the original list is I would be making some changes to this and I don't want my original to be modified in any way. So now that we have this list here, let me go ahead and select this again. And I will then go to data and there I will say remove duplicate. When I click on this, it says asks me whether my data has headers. My list has a header with form. If your list does not have, you can uncheck. So with this un with this check for me, I will hit OK. And as you can see. Excel has gone ahead and out of the 40, it has removed 33 duplicate values and seven unique values. So what we have here is the first step is complete where we now have the unique list of platforms that are available. Now let us go on to the second and the most important part of it, which is getting the duplicate count for each of these platforms. Copy this here. And now to get the duplicate count, what we will be doing is we will be using the count if formula. So we will say equal to and start typing in and Excel will count if here. Let me double click on count if. As you can see, count if has two parameters. One is the range and the other is the criteria. Range, it is asking us which, what is the range that you want to count my original list and what is the criteria or what do you want to count? So I will say comma and I want to count how many times the platform V is available. I will click the cell and I will hit close the brackets and I will hit enter. This shows me that there are nine values of V in. However, we still want to make a small tweak to this formula to make it a little more robust. So we will go ahead and select the range part of the formula or the range parameter. We will select that and we will hit F4. What it does, it fixes the reference for the range. And once I hit enter, the count does not change. But as you can see, the formula has all the dollar references, which makes it easy for me to just drag it down. So now, if I drag it down, my range does not range parameter does not change. But as you can see, my criteria platform parameter is changing, and it is giving me a accurate count. So 
this is how you can quickly get the unique count from a list and the number of times they have been duplicated in this so if you, this video was useful to you do hit the like button it does help us a lot and also thank you and have a wonderful day